Hello and welcome back to That Dreams Don't Die. Uh, hopefully that cut and recorded. Is related to real <coughs> blood. Wow, this is burnt to a crisp. It turned into a cube, you you turned into weird things. Oh my god, these people Little Peggy Young had all her blood removed. But if she slit her wrists, you know, in the bath. <laughs> Look for D. There's a D on your chest. Oh, clam chowder. Sure. <laughs> Why does he even bother with a password? It spoke to me. He's using geographical profiling. BPD, the hockey rink, Diana's Cafe, the Oldman Clinical Research Lab. This apartment, and the house little Peggy grew up in. Teddy, just what the hell are you investigating? You? Clearly. I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> he's sort of following you about and hanging out with you whilst investigating, so I think he's investigating you, David. It's pretty obvious. Three mold though on Olivia. Whereas little Peggy only has two. See, I'm observing, not just looking. I trim that. <laughs> Okay, so viewers, what are your opinions of what's going on? Obviously, I've had wildly various things. Morning, little Peggy. <laughs> oh, Good not so morning, little Peggy. <laughs> Don't push yourself too hard. Food, we need that. <laughs> Bacon and waffles. You can have very greasy hands now. So, uh, don't keep of course she's hugging a cardboard box. How's the, case going? the mementos are all gone. What? How'd that happen? Someone attacked me. What kind of attack? Felt like electricity. A uh, stun gun or something. Knocked me right out. So we're back to square one. No. I do have this. Hmm. Doesn't look like much. What it looks like is a lens from some sunglasses. And what does that mean? It could be a memento? Tell me, Petty. Do federal marshals use stun guns? Hmm. Their discretion, maybe. But why would Derek Buchanan use one? That muscle-bound, hard-headed old school. I don't know. Must have been an on-the-spot kind of thing. Mm. Changing the subject, Teddy. Can I ask you something? How was dinner last night? Oh God, that was terrible. What did you eat last night? <laughs> I didn't eat anything. 
<laughs> so then why is there a dirty dish in the sink? Oh, I can't fool you, can I? I ate some donuts, all right? God help me, just some donuts. Give me that look, give me a break, will you? You know, maintaining this manly physique isn't easy. Oh, oh yeah, J just forget about all that, all right? He didn't change outfits, he right did. Now, you need to concentrate on the case of the vanishing courier. This one is linked to D. But that was Zapatero's ball. My detective gut. Not my beer one. Yeah, why aren't you in the outfit I gave you, man? Right, it's a new day. Right, you're weak. Is there food in the fridge? Have you given me some food? There's not. Right. Cat lady, we need to buy some food. Let's go buy some food off her. Plus she's got the ball. I mean, give me that ball. <laughs> hey, Amanda, where'd that ball come from? One blue eye, one green eye. Sorry. <laughs> my ball now. <laughs> it's my coin. <gasps> you knew it. Oh. oh, here we go. Game on. I could have totally tossed that. that <laughs> Give it back! Come on! Ooh. Jump! <laughs> I should have had it. Thank you. Eat your dinner. <laughs> Not enough soul. That's it. Good girl. Just stuff the entire thing. <laughs> Bad or up. Even before it slowed down time. And it only gave me great. It should have been perfect on that one. Oh, I guess if you're too fast, it's not perfect. You have to be exactly at the right time. Ah! Whoa. David, no. Slamming. I don't think so. Mine. Fifty <laughs> percent think. Man. This is a memento. A memento? The baseball? How come? <sighs> I don't get 50% think that. Get about. Among the evidence anyway. Because I got involved in its past. I changed this ball into a memento. Maybe I really can change the past. Dave, we're restarting this investigation. I've made the connection, little Peggy. I wonder if we didn't get that. We might have been on a different case. But now I've reopened that case and trashed everything else. <laughs> I 
you know, it, it's hard to tell how I'm altering things. Join me with cranberry juice and bubble gum. <coughs> I don't have much of a sweet tooth, so I'd always poke fun at it. <laughs> Look at me now, chewing this sweet gum and thinking about it. Being sad. <laughs> right, cat lady, I need to order food. Don't yawn. <clears throat> Can I buy something? Right, 37. So I guess it wasn't that necessarily awkward. Should I just get a sloppy go? <laughs> and the case of the annoying kitten, okay. Why why were you dancing? Um, what's our life like? Ten out of ten? Okay, not bad. Oh, eighty seven of hundred and twenty, so we could even get forty more. Sure, let's get a turkey sandwich. Fill up our life. Clothes. Obviously we've got the Fable t-shirts. Um, we don't want beards. Jesus Christ, that's a terrible looking beards. <coughs> so Thirsty Age, Pretty in Pink. Poor Army Businessman, Labyrinth. I wonder if that's from the film Labyrinth. Military nerds? No. Don't want FBI. Grids, two gallons, old timer. Pink dot, Mr. B. White floppy manager, seedling sales manager, fake nurse, a panda. Stars and stripes, ring girl, Dalmatian Leotard. So we can turn her into a dog. We got some flight things for the other lady as well. But um, nothing avant-garde speaking out to me there. Oh, hang on, there was presents. Um, wait, sorry, I thought we have presents. Cranberry jerky, friendship goes up with Amanda. Interesting. Does it improve our stamina as well? I don't know. So what do we spend on that stars? Yeah, sure. I mean, what else we got? Friendship with Amanda goes up. Ball chicken, friendship with Amanda, friendship with Amanda, friendship with Amanda. Sure. Let's buy things for the cat. Just because we can. In <laughs> the cat was being annoying. I wonder if that solves the case. Case complete, annoying kitten. Start to buy a lot of things to keep the cat happy. That's the soundtrack. I mean, sure, we've got 50% off, so we might as well. And then, why not? <laughs> I mean,. Just to see what happens. <laughs> Cat's getting a bit too happy now. <clears throat> right, we'll get on with the game now. Keep them unlocked. Presents for the cat. <laughs> There's probably more we could do about the flat right now, but let's get on with this case. We need to do this. We should have looked at his thing. Yeah, sorry about that. 
Um, show the sunglasses fragment. When I was attacked, Derek Buchanan was the only one on the plane wearing sunglasses. We had a little encounter prior to that as well. I was also close to his seat when I was attacked. Hmm. Sounds like the marshal is the one who attacked you then. Mm, maybe, but it still doesn't make sense to me. He was killed in the line of duty. Hmm. He may have been involved in something really bad. Yeah, we trust you back for us, I'm sorry. What do you think <laughs> just got knocked over? You also stuffed your face. David, are you out of your mind? You waste what I make, and then you ask me to make you more. Just some coffee will be fine. Oh, why do I even bother? <laughs> Fine, fine. Can't start a good day without a good breakfast. Now sit down. I'll let you off easy today. You know, maybe I didn't eat her by all that food from the cat. <laughs> if she could deep throat a whole fish like that and not choke what happened with and take all the bones out, that's impressive. <laughs> Why are you asking me that? You've hardly touched your meal. You know how it is. Same old, same old. Mm. Something more serious than clam chowder this Top time? Hot dog for breakfast. This one's a bit different. It'll be okay, David, right? Things just got a little bit complicated, right? <laughs> Why are you dancing with itself. the food? It will? Yeah, it, it will. Still. I can't help but feel that all you two ever do is fight. You never even seem to entertain the notion of splitting up. You've huh. got quite a strange relationship. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, we may have met her here. But we're both from New York originally. We think alike, you know? <laughs> so then why all the fights? I guess. Probably my fault. Take, if you will, this hot dog. What's this Frank made from, huh? Pork, right? That's right. Ah. Duh. <laughs> Here in Boston, when you say hot dog, people think pork. Yeah, well, pork's nicer than what hot dog means here. Here, it's reconstituted chicken that's about 5% chicken and 9 percent MRM and then a lot of shit. She doesn't like that you eat pork hot dogs. She thinks I've forsaken my hometown. She can't forgive me for that, so she gets all tough on me. <laughs> so she loves her, but she also loves her hometown just as much. Yeah. Will I ever be able to win out against the Big Apple? God only knows. You said it. You got the cats who eat a sprout, and my god, all that shit that he ate. Yeah, our food went up. We could have clearly not needed to spend all our credits, but look at how many credits we've got. And geez, we're not going to spend on anything else rather than new blood series stains. 2004 was a nightmare of year for those involved in the case. The rapid influx of blood cells was followed almost immediately by disappearance of new strains one after another. B2, blood cell supernova, B3, B4, with each generation further strains spread. Due to the common elements of being a red powder, they became known as the blood series. Due to the extreme high in so-called divinity physical re reaction, the drugs quickly created many addicts. In turn, quickly created many addicts. Leading to rapids, increasing victims, and suffering terrible final moments. The flow was restricted with clear market control and disparity of the victims and pending the investigations. The use of the blood series has an extremely high mortality rate, but the direct cause of death is extremely limited. In the lab, they have been shown drugs with effects that modern medicine remains unable to explain, such as bringing dead mice back to life or curing cancer in a matter of hours. 
Opposing this, a large number of bizarre deaths have also been reported, burned alive by seemingly spontaneous combustion, drowned in own body fluids, and even extreme irregular muscle contractions, reducing the individual to a 14 centimeter cube. The reasons for all of these are unclear, but in many cases, users who experimented no problems with one strain of the blood series then quickly died after using a different strain, leading to reports of selective comparable compatibility and injection reactions. Mortality rates for a single version display equivalency with other drugs, allowing those with compatibility for a certain strain to become addicted to it. Then however the version changes, users move to the new blood series because it's easier to get and that is the one that kills them. Clients have been compatible with all versions said to be just 9%. The rapid development of the blood series over a short space of time is certainly something to be afraid of. The grotesque crime series and bizarre deaths of that blood series were placed under strict media control, but a leak in the mass media finally brought it out into the open. The restrictions collapsed and the drug became a social problem, falling into the hands of everyone, including the students. Blah 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 blah. <clears throat> Number of blood series versions 14. And now it's the total number of deaths to 745. That's not a lot for the drugs, to be honest. I mean, please. I mean, 800 odd deaths. Alright, so we need to go to the bathroom and dive. But obviously, David, we need to investigate him. After yourself is part of your job. David, are you pulling <laughs> my leg? You just ate. Well, it was an extra case. I guess we'll come back later when we're hungry. The marshal's name starts with a D. Even more suspicious. But let's say he is the boss behind real blood. Why would he go out of his way to make contact with Zapatero then? I don't know. If he wanted to shut him up, he could just send out someone else. What if... He didn't want anyone else to see the courier's evidence. Or maybe he wanted to execute the guy himself for some reason. I mean, it sounds plausible to me. Execute the guy himself? Teddy. Why would he want to do that? I don't know. What if it was you? Me? Revenge. That's the only thing I couldn't trust anyone else. Revenge? certainly a possibility, but there were no past points of contact between the marshal and the curry. That reminds me, the marshal had a He could have gone for his family. family. What, uh, what's so special about that? You said all his belongings were unclaimed and said to be disposed of. That's how I was able to get my hands on his badge. Oh, right. I'd have to investigate a bit more. But maybe he's estranged from his family for some reason. Or their dad. The electricity that shocked me felt a little different from a stun gun. What do you Lightning? mean? I never felt the electrodes. When I was hit by a stun gun in training, I remember feeling the electrodes first. I didn't feel anything back there. It was as though the electricity in the air came alive. And struck me. This all happened in a split second, right? <laughs> you sure you aren't uh, overanalyzing this? Nah. Maybe Zapatero was on real bloods. So the DEA was also. And it made him Korea? explode in lightning. Yeah, you could say that. I thought as much. So why didn't you tell me? I wasn't hiding it. Just thought too much information at once might confuse you. Teddy, you got to be kidding me. I got a gun shoved in my face, thanks to your little omission. Do you know the name of the agent they were using? I can find out, sure. For now, I only know that there are two of them. One is Olivia Jones. She had a gun, so there's no question about her. That leaves one more. You can find them on your own, right? Of course. I've already got a solid hunch. Just how in the loop is the BPD anyway? Enough to carry out a joint investigation. Let's leave it at that. But you don't even know the agent's names. That's for their own protection. I don't need to tell you that undercover work is life and death stuff. Who would want to keep their names hidden, huh? Have you been investigating the link between real blood and the murder cases? 
Yeah, uh, something caught my attention. Isn't that Homicide's job? No, it's all narcotics. Is it related to this case? Of the it is in the big picture. But you don't need to worry about that now. He's investigating Green Day. Do you think little Peggy's case is also connected to real blood? Who knows? Listen, David. New cases happen every day. Which cases are connected to each other and how? We spend every waking moment of our lives trying to figure out that stuff. Don't hurry to an answer. The truth isn't gonna run away. If you had a special power, a gift, would you want to change the past? Uh, you know, for everything I want to change, there's something else in my past that I couldn't Yeah, if you change things, you might you lose other things. Accept the past. Move on. Because your past might have led you to that path anyway. What if it's too hard to accept? Even if you manage to change that one little bit, it wouldn't be enough to change your life. It would if you end up with the person you, you love still. Accept <laughs> the past. That's why you need to find the courier's evidence. That's how you'll resolve your past. And I'll do whatever I can to help. Right, so we are going to go save before we go dive, and then we'll dive in another episode. So that has been Dark Dreams Don't Die for today. Join us again for more. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.